If you're a fan of The Wizard of Oz, then stick around, because you're about to discover some appalling and downright scary things that happened on the set of this legendary Hollywood musical. While filming The Witch's Dramatic Exit in Munchkinland, Margaret Hamilton was burned by the fire surrounding her trap door when the crewman in charge of the flames set them off too early and Hamilton's shoulders were still above the floor. She received second-degree burns on her face and third-degree burns on her fingers and went to the hospital for six weeks to recover. After that, she refused to do anything else that required smoke or fire, which meant that the filmmakers had to use a stand-in to film the skywriting scene. Hamilton was wise to make that call though, because the broom blew up on the stand-in, which sent her flying in the air and crashing to the stage floor, and she had to be sent to the hospital to recover. Aside from her bad run-ins with fire, Margaret Hamilton also suffered from her toxic makeup that contained copper. But by the end of filming, she had so much of it in her pores that her skin had a greenish tint for about six months after filming was over. The Wicked Witch wasn't the only one with makeup problems, because the Tin Man was played by two actors since the first one was almost killed by his makeup. Buddy Ebsen was the first actor to portray the Tin Man, and he was coated with an aluminum powder at least 12 times a day to keep his face shining for every take. But the application of the powder created an aluminum dust cloud around his face that he would inadvertently breathe in. He eventually had so much aluminum in his lungs that one day he suddenly stopped breathing and keeled over due to instant emphysema. Ebsen had to be rushed to the hospital where he spent six weeks recovering under an oxygen tent, and Jack Haley was hired as his replacement. Unfortunately, the deadly aluminum powder was swapped for what turned out to be a deadly aluminum paste, because when the paste accidentally got in Jack Haley's eyes, it caused an infection so bad that he had to be hospitalized for about a week in order to save his vision. The scarecrow face that Ray Bolger wore was partly made of a rubber prosthetic with a woven pattern to make it look like a burlap sack. But by the time filming had wrapped, the prosthetic had left a pattern of lines on his face that was so deep it took more than a year for his skin to heal. The main characters weren't the only ones suffering from onset mishaps, because two of the flying monkey actors were badly injured when their piano support wires snapped, and the fall they suffered caused them to be hospitalized. For the poppy field scene, the snow was made of asbestos. Its cancerous side effects had been discovered way back in the 1920s, but as you can see, that didn't stop movie productions from continuing to use it as decoration. Not only was it used as snow in the movie, but asbestos was also used as a flame retardant for the Wicked Witch's broom and the Scarecrow's costume. So not only did Ray Bolger inhale the cancerous substance to film the poppy field scene, but he was also wearing it throughout the whole movie production. One of Toto's paws was broken when it accidentally got stepped on by one of the witch's guards, and Terry, which is the dog's real name, had to recover for two weeks while two doubles were used as her temporary replacement, and supposedly a stuffed animal was also used as a stand-in during the lengthy lighting setups. Aside from all the trouble caused by the special effects for the head of the Great Oz, there was another problem the filmmakers kept running into in the throne room, which was that the throne kept catching on fire. In contrast to the other entries on this list, luckily no injuries occurred during this scene, since no one had to be seated on the throne. The humongous scope of the sets were so big that the filmmakers had to borrow lights from other movie studios to achieve Oz's bright and colorful look, raising the temperature on set to over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. All the lights required so much power that the electric company installed the substation right there on the MGM lot, and the intense heat of the lights required a fireman to be on set all day in case one of the set pieces had burst into flames. The lion suit that Burt Lahr wore for his famous role was extremely hot to wear because it weighed more than 50 pounds. It was made of two real lion pelts that were sewn together and stuffed with mattress padding, and Lahr had to remain in the hefty costume and facial prosthetics all day. So by the end of the day, he was completely soaked in sweat. The costume was air dried every night, but even still, people on the set complained about its awful smell. Make sure to subscribe and then click on another video to discover more fun facts about your favorite films.